I've made a lot of upgrades to the rig recently, but the one I want to go over today is fridges. Small portable fridges versus a cooler versus a fridge versus a... Let's get into it. I wanted to do a quick comparison of two different portable fridge units that I was able to get my hands on recently and share this information with you. First unit was a Bogue RV, which has a capacity of around 22 liters. This thing retails for $250, which is a surprisingly tempting price tag. While there wasn't necessarily anything wrong with this unit, with these measurements, it was slightly too big for my rig. It's 12 volt and wall mount. The only thing with Bogue RV is I don't know if this is a buy cheap, buy twice type of unit. I haven't had it long enough to say, but everything is a non-branded Chinese manufacturer. So it's sometimes you can win and sometimes you can lose. This is compared against the Iceco Mini 12, which is a 12 liter capacity. It's essentially about half the height and half the volume of the Bogue unit. And this unit retails for $330, but it does come with a Dan Soft, Dan Soft? Danfoss compressor, which is name brand and reliable with a five-year warranty. It's still a 12 volt and it still has an adapter for a wall mount. A few things that the Iceco has that the Bogue does not are these handles, which are very useful, a light inside the fridge and a fuse in case you blow a fuse. For me, size was the biggest concern. The Iceco 12 liter works perfect for fitting under the platform of my bed and on the counter of my kitchen. Bogue RV doesn't make a smaller unit than the 20, but depending on what kind of space and budget you have, the Bogue could be a perfect solution. Hey, I'm curious of what you think. Are you into the cheaper thing with no warranty or the more expensive, more quality thing with a warranty? Just, uh, I'm just curious, what do you think? One last interesting thing to note, before I had the portable fridge, I was using a Yeti soft cooler, a Hopper 20 liter. And surprisingly, the retail on that is $300. It's actually $50 more than the Bogue RV, which is insane to me. It's just a regular cooler. It just has the Yeti brand name. And you gotta fill it up all the time and the weird shape is hard to get stuff in. And I had to try it and it, lo and behold, the fridge was the way to go for me. So hopefully this information helps you out and maybe you can make some informed decisions based on it. And if not, I apologize for wasting your time. The other update is I've got a Trangia stove based off of your comments. So thank you for that. I went with a stove option so I can boil water. If I want to uh, fry an egg, I've got that option. I can cook soupy things in the bowl. A anyways, the fuel source is just rubbing alcohol, isopropyl. Basic, so simple, readily available everywhere. Just goes in a little thing, you heat it up, it's, I don't know. Truth be told, I have never used it. We'll find out how this actually works in the morning. <laughs> but either way, I'm excited to have a stove because look at this adorable tea kettle. Are you kidding me? Doug, would you like some tea? Oh, yes, please. And last but not least, I picked up a Belmont blanket, Portland-based manufacturer, plush soft on the inside, adventure ready, and waterproof on the outside. So... I thought you were supposed to steal blankets from United Van Lines after you get moved. Is that the rule? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad option. I like my Belmont blanket. I, no offense, Doug. I love this thing. It's so plush that I just, I don't know. I also picked up one of these Helinox one chairs. Nothing like high-end seat sitting at the campsite. And I've got links to all of this down below. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD gear shop, the greatest place on the internet. And check out this video where I do more camping in the rig because, I don't know, do they, do they care? I don't know if they care. Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein, signing off.